Kissing is a lot like dancing because it's all about presence, connection, embodiment and variety. So let's start with the first principle for a great experience, which is approach kissing with presence. Instead of thinking of kissing as the first essential stop on the road to something else, make the kiss your destination. So kiss for the sake of kissing. There is just so much to explore. Instead of analyzing your experience, listening to your mental chatter or worrying about what's next, try to trust and follow your intuition. So let your body and the experience guide you. Close your eyes and focus on your physical experience. So try to notice all the sensations that the kiss evokes. So not just on your lips and in your mouth, but everywhere in your body. So the second kissing principle that we wanted to share with you is connect with your partner. <laughs> a great way to connect and to feel intimacy is opening your eyes for a moment. So maybe even pull away a bit and just hold each other while you look straight into each other's eyes because it's definitely a cliche but our eyes can really feel like a window into our soul sometimes. <laughs> now, while you try to tune into your sensations and follow your intuition, pay just as much attention to your partner's body and try to experience their body as if it's an extension of your own. Now, follow your partner's body if you like what they're doing, or you can take the lead to move the experience into a different direction. But if you do so, make sure to notice how they respond to anything that you do. Kissing principle three is make it a full body experience. So maybe hold their chin, stroke their cheeks, run your fingers through their hair, or pull their whole body close to yours, uh, scratch their back, or my personal favorite, curl one of your legs around theirs. Move your entire body in sync with the rhythm of your kiss. So maybe rock your hips together or grind your pelvises against each other or snake your bodies in a wave-like motion. Your breathing influences your heart rate and blood flow and thus also your mental and physical arousal. And one really pleasurable thing to do is visualizing that with your breath, you can direct your pleasure to move throughout your whole body. Try it out. <laughs> Follow your impulses to express your pleasure with your voice because your sounds can turn both of you on. Plus it can provide really valuable feedback to your partner and it can boost their confidence. And then finally, the fourth kissing principle is keep it engaging with variety. <laughs> Vary the rhythm of your movements and your breathing. So for example, start slowly to awaken an eagerness and then maybe um, speed up to drive up the arousal and you can pause to prolong or to deepen. You get the idea, right? Slightly swirl your tongue inside their mouth, uh, lick their lips or the inside of their mouth, gently bite their lower lip um, or move your tongues as if they're all glued together. So many possibilities. A strong kiss on the forehead, little kisses all around the collarbone, uh, some bites in the neck, 
licking the earlobes. <laughs> Just really take the time to cover all of these potential pleasure spots in the whole area. From deeply peaceful to wildly passionate and from the seriously significant to silly and playful. Just be curious and set the scene for all of these different flavors of kisses. And finally, we can kiss while standing up, spooning, lying face to face, one on top of the other, one sitting on the other's lap. So why not make it a quest to discover all of your own and your partner's favorite kissing postures? <laughs>